I was actually in my son's room. Uh, I think it was on March 24th. And I was speaking to my programmer and I said, if there's a way that something can be tweaked now would be the time. And what we were able to accomplish was taking something that we're already utilizing and help give it to not just the insurance carriers that are considered preferred of ours, but I'm even uh, as a way to help pre-qualify claims to bring to bring the numbers down. So you see everything is volume. So if I'm tracking volume for businesses, I could also utilize that same algorithm to track the volume for claims, specifically in the short-term disability segment and uh, as a result of COVID. Franchising the technology and, and taking that out to every paid family leave state that's available. So stay tuned for that. That should be a, a new and exciting venture, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, will be in January, but we're laying the groundwork now. That's what it's all about. We've been laying the groundwork for, for this moment for four years now, and it's coming to fruition. It's been it's been fascinating to watch, Mike, because it's just, it's a great case study of what you can do. Well, think about it. I mean, with the amount of time that the businesses have been closed during this pandemic, if you fast forward that 100 days plus onto today, we're already talking Halloween. So if we've been doing this for three years, what's another four months? You know, when you've been when you've been up against the ropes and done what we've done over 36 months from all the highs and lows and peaks and valleys, it's sort of in a way a breath of fresh air to know that if you've been through all that and we've addressed this in other videos, it's kind of now just like very, I don't want to say boring, but you know what to expect. And if you accomplish that, then you give yourself a goal. And then once you get the notch in that belt and you tackle it, let that ride and then move on to the next one and just keep building upon that and getting to the next level. And so you want to, you know, get to a point where it either sustains itself or you sell it in any business you're in, in any business. But ultimately for me, the timing is now while I still have some gas in the tank. Stop talking about a potential second wave. I mean, <laughs> who knows? I don't want to hear it. It's negative. It's negative energy. I don't want to hear it. Right? Just let's just stick to what we know. And that is today. And and I, I shut out and try and tune out a lot of the news media and and I do what's best for my company. And if I do what's best for my company, I'm impacting my employees. If I do what's good for them, maybe they could take that into their real world experiences. And I've got friends that are business owners. I just, we're, we're in a bubble of what we do. And as long as we do it best, whether it's writing with you or, or uh, you know, or selling insurance for us, it's that old adage of, of stick to sewing, which I've mentioned to you before in previous posts, which is a stick to what you're good at and do not be a jack of all trades. And Now's not the time to project what will what will be. We don't know. We don't know. And it's too much stress to, to worry. So we're we're literally six months through this year already. It's over. Anything I talk about in the fall is going to be for a 2021 uh, time frame at that point. My goal is to be the most state of the art tech savvy general agency in the paid family leave statutory space case closed end of story.